Speak, Trixie. Just as Richter's clubbed fingers itched to slam the granite gavel down to pronounce Carrie's punishment, his beady eyes flicked angrily to her counselor, a well-dressed troll who dragged the proceedings on second by precious second. Carrie stood to sing her death knell to the jury. Within a fearful night, I sheltered in, aware of dread events that plagued the shoot. Inside, my home was haven in a den to flee the terror caused by angry groups. What angry groups were those, might I ask? The king's words echoed from the back of the hall where he watched the trial with bloody intent. The angry Trixies, like you, who were running about the slum, the shoop, as you called it? While the good, law-abiding citizens remained asleep, your people caused havoc in my city. You murdered a guard in cold blood with your vile magic. The counselor bowed low to the king. Your majesty, the pixie Carrie, was simply stating her alibi. She couldn't have killed lies. Trixies, trolls, all you magic creatures are the same, coming here to destroy the peace of my kingdom. The jurors murmured their assent. Carrie straightened her back and lifted her delicate chin. When law-abiding citizens feign sleep, defenseless lives are lost and mothers weep. Richter's low jowl shivered as he lifted his arm. You are out of order, Trixie. The gavel rained down, the sound of judgment rendered against all lives born of magic and raised in a cruel world.